This right here is absolute insanity. So as we take a walk around this thing, you guys are gonna see some stickers related to traveling in different locations around the world. And I'm sure you guys kind of know what's going on with this based on the title and thumbnail, but Microsoft just sent me this package and it contains a full flight simulator setup. As most of you probably know, Microsoft Flight Simulator is releasing in just a couple of days on August 18th, and it's their first flight sim release in nearly 15 years. It's gonna be a massive game, dude. It is incredibly realistic. You can land at all 37,000 airports around the world. You can literally fly anywhere. You can go fly through your city, fly above your house, that sort of thing. It is going to be absolutely incredible, and uh, I can't wait to bring it to the channel. You guys know we love sim games on this channel especially like we've been heavy into the racing stuff i have my racing cockpit and the wheel set up and everything like that so this is going to be kind of a similar thing but obviously we're going to be flying the friendly skies which i'm really really excited about and so i think this could be one of the biggest series that we do this year so uh, i hope you guys are excited for the videos let's get into this box just go ahead and open this guy up here Ooh, xbox game studios we've got microsoft flight simulator there on the other side and we've got a lot of bubble wrap here. Let's see what exactly is included in this goodie bag. Oh, this is crazy. So this is pretty cool. These are actually one of my favorite sunglass brands. They're called Keys, they're from Australia. A lot of people will call them Quays, but it's based off the Sydney Harbor Keys, so you call them Keys. But if we get these things open, it looks like they're not sunglasses. They're actually blue light blocking glasses, but they're in that aviator style. Oh yeah, dude. We are 100% gonna be rocking these. I can already feel my flight skills improving. So this is gonna be the Logitech G Flight Throttle Quadrant. This is basically gonna control your thrust and the engines and stuff like that. Oh dude, this is, this is gonna be so cool. I'm seriously so excited about this. We've got a honeycomb flight control up next. Let me see if I can, I can't get this out one handed one sec. Dude, I'm geeking out so hard. This, this is just gonna be so much fun. I love learning new skills. I love trying new things. I just, I, I love sim games, whether we're, you know, racing cars or driving big rigs or whatever else. It's just, it's awesome to kind of live that. Live that alternative life, I guess, that alternative career. So uh, I'm, I'm excited for this. I'm, I'm kind of nerding out a little bit. So I'm gonna get this whole thing set up. I'm gonna get that out of the box too. We'll see them together. All right, so we're starting to come together here. It's looking pretty good. We've got our throttle here on the right. We've got three individual sliders here, toggles, whatever you wanna call them. I'm gonna have to learn what all of this stuff does and what the actual correct terminology is, but forgive me if I don't know right now. There's also this. It looks like you could put this across all three and move all three all at once if you wanted. There's also six buttons. Each one of these has a top and a down button, so you're gonna be able to customize those. Of course, we've got our yoke here so you're going to be able to uh, adjust the pitch and the yaw and everything like that there's also some really nice switches back here listen to this oh yeah dude we've also got all kinds of toggles bcn landing gear i'm assuming taxi lights maybe navigation strobe it's it's going to be so cool to just be flicking buttons and flying planes last but not least the biggest part of the box these things are massive and very heavy the thrust master pendular rudder so it took like five minutes and a couple screws to set this thing up but i think we're all good to go dude this is just it's it's massive so you have kind of the the pushing of the the two pedals and then you've also got kind of like a little bit of extra give here now i'm gonna be honest like i said I'm not really an expert, I'm looking to learn, so I'm gonna have to, to learn about all of this stuff and what all of these moves are doing. But this is just, dude, this is incredible. It is all super solid, heavy, metal, aluminum, I don't even know what it's made of, but it, it feels super good. Look at the backside here, this is the coolest part. Look at this thing, dude. You've got all kinds of springs and tension. You can adjust the tension to make it feel exactly how you want it to feel. You can adjust the, the pedals or the rudders to, to lay flatter or be more vertical. I've got them kind of in a, a middle position here, maybe a little bit more flat, but uh, yeah, this thing, this, this looks sick. Now, obviously I don't intend to play flight sim out here on the dining room table, but here is the setup all put together. We're gonna have to move this stuff to the office eventually, but this is what's gonna allow us to control 
and fly airplanes, dude. So amazing. I'm just so excited for this, man. I'm so excited to learn something new, to kind of develop slightly a new skill. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I can pick it up pretty quickly. And uh, I think it's gonna make for some very, very entertaining content. So hopefully you guys are ready for some flight sim videos. Huge, huge, huge thank you to Microsoft for sending me this. This is above and beyond what I was expecting and I'm really excited to put it to the test and uh, hopefully we can get off the ground. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. So drop a like if you're looking forward to some Microsoft Flight Simulator content coming to the channel here very, very soon. And I'm gonna see you guys there. Peace out.